Begin with that developing story. Three men accused of robbing former attorney Stan Chesley and his federal judge wife. Nine on your side broke this story in an alert straight to your phone. Tonight we're learning more about the suspects. Nine on your side's Roseanne Aragon says Chesley isn't their first victim. She joins us live from the Madeira Police Department. Roseanne? Julie, this broken window is the result of a traffic stop by Madeira police that led to the arrest of those three suspects. Now, before that, they say those three suspects broke into the basement door of an Indian Hill home. Three men now facing charges for the robbery of this Indian Hill home, the home of former attorney Stanley Chesley and federal judge Susan Zlot. They had the weapons pointed at them, and they were escorted through the house. The suspects broke into the basement door. Court documents say the victims were pushed around, forced to hand over their IDs, their coats, jewelry, and other items ripped from their home. The suspects took off. They heard a, a beeping noise, and then they proceeded to run. But during their getaway, they would run into trouble. Montero police would stop them from running a stop sign. Followed the vehicle. We noticed the trunk was partially open a few inches and saw some fur. Thought maybe somebody was hiding in the trunk or what that was. Police found more than just the stolen property. Three handguns loaded, stun gun. Also in the car were three long barrel rifles. A traffic stop turned arrest. All three charged with aggravated robbery and abduction. Kinney charged by Madeira police for vandalism and escape, for busting a car window in attempts to escape arrest. But this isn't the first time they were involved in crime. Records show Kinney and Williams were involved in a heist together in a Mount Airy home, the home of Karen Brown. Lifted the door, hatcheted the, busted the lock. When it happened to us, you think it's not going to happen, and it did. They weren't home, but her daughter was the first to see it. It was just very scary. I ran out <laughs> of the house. I ran down the street to my neighbor's house. In October of 2013, both Williams and Kinney pleaded guilty, and behind bars is where they are again today. It's wonderful. Justice has been served. Now the two victims spent some time at the hospital. Chesley remains there tonight. Police say it was a random invasion, and the three suspects will be arraigned in court Monday morning. Reporting live, Roseanne Aragon, 9 on your side.